My name is Dr. Alan Watson. I'm an ophthalmologist in St. Joseph, Missouri, and we're here today to talk about eye problems. How to treat dry eye syndrome. Replacement of the tear is the most cost-effective way, and there's numerous artificial tears that are available uh, over the counter at your local um, grocery store or drugstore. Uh, restasis is available by prescription only. There's also other ways to treat a dry eye. One way, if you're trying to put more water in the sink of your home uh, and you've got your spigot turned all the way up, uh, another way to get the sink to fill up is you stop up the drain. Similarly with your eye, if you ever looked in the corner of your eye on the nasal side, you'd see a little pinhole in your eyelid and that's actually where the fluids of your tear layer drain into that lacrimal system and end up in the base, base of your nose. And that's why if you ever go to a sad movie, you may have to blow your nose if you've been crying because a lot of your tears end up in the nasal pharynx of the back of your nose. So that little drain hole can be stopped up with a little silicone or collagen plug so that the tears that are made on the eye will stay on the eye longer because they won't be able to go down the drain as readily. There's also a tear drain on the upper lid and so some patients need all four of their punctum closed, um, which are the drain holes, it, to allow the maximum amount of moisture to be retained well on the eye. This has been Dr. Alan Watson, ophthalmologist in St. Joseph, Missouri, discussing different eye problems and the treatment of different eye problems with you.